So we're three days later. Um, since I made my cell builder, we're gonna go into this upper box that we joined with newspaper and see if hopefully they've gone through, condense them down. Make sure there aren't any queen cells around. She is the constant search in a cell starter is for queen cells. But it's looking to me like most of them have gone down and joined. Aren't that many bees up here. Yeah, I got holes through the paper. So this one's got just a little bit of cat brood left on it. Not much. All nectar. There's a bunch of cat brood. Cat brood. More cap brood. Just little dabs on this one. Number of these uh, without a lot of cat brood may end up going back into the colony I took them from. So I don't eat up a lot of space in the top of my cell starter um, with frames that only have a couple of workers to come out. There's quite a few of them in here with just a little bit of cat brood in them. That one's got quite a bit.
right, so that's what we're going to continue on down into the next box. Look for queen cells, sort the frames, and then into the bottom box. <clears throat> well, as I went through my cell starter here, I found quite a few frames with uh, queen cells. So I went ahead and put one in here with some queen cells that are started on it. We'll see what they do with those. Um, you know, there's always a chance a virgin queen flew in. You just never can tell, but anyway, we'll stick some in there and see what happens. Right, I've gone through here now, pulled out queen cells, uh, tore down quite a few of them. They're feeling crowded. That's natural, and I want them to be crowded. So now I've reduced everything back down into the two boxes, and I will let them do the thing, get moved back up into the upper box. Well, and then I will probably come out this evening and shut them down and they will be hopelessly queenless by tomorrow morning um, and then i'll be ready to put a graft in and i'll do my first grafting tomorrow so that's where we're at 